Hi everyone and welcome on this new Popcorn FX video tutorials. This video will show you how to trigger particles events in Popcorn FX. Basically, you can trigger an event manually through scripting, but Popcorn FX has three event trigger built in. We have unspawn, undeath, and uncollide. As expected, unspawn is triggered when a particle spawns. Undeath is triggered when a particle dies. And then collide is triggered when a particles collide with the world. First of all, we want to create another branch right after the first branch die. Before creating an event, we need to be sure that the layer we are triggering is in the layer groups folder. The layer groups folder allows us to store a layer and play it by triggering only. In the event nodes, we are gonna create a new event. In the event name, we are gonna mark on death. In the event action, we can choose the layer to trigger. And in this situation, we want to trigger death trigger branch. As you can see now, a new branch is created at the end of the first branch. Now we want to create another branch at the end of the second one. And recursively create a new branch each time a branch reaches its end. A layer stored in the layer groups folder can trigger itself. Now we want to create a point at the start of each branch. And for this, we are gonna create a new unspawn event. In Popcorn FX, we can trigger an FX which is outside of the system. We just need to click on the extend button and select the FX we want to trigger. Now we want to constrain this effect on a sphere. And each time a branch collide with this sphere, it will bounce away and create a new effect. For the uncollide event, make sure to have a physics evolver, because it will be this physics evolver that will send the collision information. Let's enable the world collision. By default, the trigger name of a collision is uncollide, but if you want to change it, you can modify it here in the event collide field. Now our branch are bouncing away when they collide with the sphere. We create a new on collide event to spawn an FX when it hit the sphere. Popcorn FX allows us to trigger a whole folder. Now we have a good looking effect created mostly by event. And that's all for these tutorials. Thanks for watching.